Doctor, what are the causes for small ovaries and does it affect fertility? Every woman is born with a fixed number of eggs and these eggs start declining as they age and at the time of their first menstrual cycle, also known as menarche, they have approximately 400,000 400, eggs and by the time they reach menopause, hardly any or less than 1,000 eggs exist. After menarche, as the adults and girl gets menstrual cycle, one egg gets released between the 12th to 18th day of the cycle. And if she is already married and it gets fertilized, then it gives a pregnancy. If it doesn't get fertilized, it produces a menstrual cycle. This selection process of a single egg is not from a single egg. Hundreds of eggs start the journey, but only one egg is selected. And if there is a disturbance in the selection method, the eggs or the number of oocytes get over very early. And in that situation, we see a situation called a smaller ovary or reduced ovarian reserves. This problem can be genetic, can be also based on childhood nutrition problems, or sometimes it can be interplay of growth hormones during the period between 8 to 10 years of age. In other words, a variety of causes can produce smaller ovaries, but when these smaller ovaries are diagnosed, it tells us the results are lower and this can be confirmed by a test called anti mullerian hormone and also by antral follicle count. When the ovary volume is lower, your ant antral follicle hormone report can get lower. If you are in the age group between 25 to 30 and you have been diagnosed with a lower ovarian volume or a lower AMH hormone or antral follicle count is very low, it is very important for you not to postpone your pregnancy because your eggs might get exhausted quickly compared to other women. There is another situation where you find smaller ovaries that is in the elderly woman. As the woman reaches 37 years and as they come closer to 40 years, the volume of the ovary becomes smaller because the number of eggs in the ovary gets diminished from 400,000 at the time of menarche to a couple of thousand as they reach closer to 40 and to less than 1,000 as they reach menopause. Essentially, smaller ovaries can be classified into two groups. One in the younger woman, one in the older woman. Smaller ovaries in young women where the chance of pregnancy are reasonably satisfactory. And the most important thing is they should not have any delay in planning a pregnancy. And the second group is women closer to 40 years who are at the end of their reproductive life. Here the chance of pregnancy with smaller ovaries are significantly low. In other words, what I would like to convey in this video blog is assessing ovarian reserves is an essential component of reproduction and if they are compromised in the present women where most of the 50% of the women are career women, they should not postpone their pregnancy but seek medical help to get an early pregnancy. One thing that has not been beaten by technology is age and less ovarian reserves. As of today, we do not have any solutions for women with less ovarian reserves or poor ovarian reserves. So it is prudent and wise for the career women to prioritize if their doctor says her ovarian reserves are low and then they have to prioritize their life goals between career and motherhood in that situation. 
it all depends on their individual choices but a word of caution about the importance of that information is the technology has not solved the role of age and less ovarian reserves we seldom realize technology has limitations and the areas of limitations in reproductive medicine are age smaller ovaries or low amh where few options are available why i have repeated the sentence many times is to emphasize its importance as very very important fact of life